Hey everybody, this is Paul, and I thought I'd give you a little update on what I've been up to this winter. So you can see I've added some more pots here onto this section of the yard. And I am actually starting to mix some varieties. I'll probably regret it later. But you can see here that I have a two varieties that are definitely very different looking. And that's my strategy. I'm trying to keep some hybrids together. And if there's Selenocerius DNA, like over here, I try to keep them together. So I have my yellow tie and my Selenocerius cetaceous together because they look very different. And I'm just trying to keep the same DNA together, if that makes sense. So when I can, I still am also putting single pots to get together. One variety, I should say. So here's my Laverne Pink. I really like this plant, so I'm definitely keeping it as one pot. In one pot, I guess is a better way to say it. So I took some cuttings and rooted them, and they're taken off. Now, I've also mixed here my friend Lada's variety, his red one. He sent me out some cuttings last year, and this needed to be on a trellis. You can see it's top the trellis already. And then I actually have one of my seedlings here, my Orahona seedlings. And, ow, I can't believe how much it's actually grown already. I mean, look at this thing. It's a bad angle. Let me come around here. So really stunning little seedling. I can't believe that it's already this tall. This is a four foot trellis, by the way, from the ground. So I know I don't recommend mixing varieties, but I mean, sometimes you just have to. Now I also moved my Pride of Fallbrook over here because it was just kind of getting too much sun. And I saw how Danny's was much healthier so this thing is behind an orange tree, so it should get a bit more shade than where it was previously. So I'm hoping to get some more growth out of it this year because this plant has rare. I mean, not very many people have it, but it's definitely a very slow growing variety for me. So let me go show you another section that I've worked on. Let's go check it out. So here's what I wanted to share with you. You can see I got several new pots planted here on my left. And they are spaced at 10 feet apart and four foot height in height. They are stuffed with concrete and rebar, so they're very sturdy. But the only drawback is, is that I cannot move the pots. But I can move the plants in case they get sunburned or they need more sunlight or something like that. And I did get a little bit of rot. You can see it's not wise to always plant cuttings in December. But that's rather minimal. And I was taking my chances with this La Nina weather because I knew we were gonna have a mild winter. And it's leading us into an early season, it looks like. You can see lots of new growth, lots of new branches are starting to pop out on different varieties here, Nitzel and Cosmic Charlie, and Nicaraguan Red over here as well. They're just all really starting to wake up, as you can see, which is great. So I look forward to this season, I hope you do too and we'll keep you updated. So give us a like and a subscribe. We'll keep them coming. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.